All right, E-I-D-L Loan. This is a May 5th Happy Sick of the Mile update from LA Late. As always, subscribe and like below. All right, let's get right to it. A lot of new information for today. And for the first time, we are on this channel answering your questions on a daily basis. So keep your comments coming and we will feature them potentially in tomorrow's video. All right, let's get right to this one. Um, the EIDL loan caused a lot of confusion yesterday. It's continuing today. A lot of people are asking or saying that they applied for a new EIDL grant or loan yesterday. Uh, and their singers and their musicians, um, God bless you. But yesterday was an EIDL loan for agricultural businesses. It was not an EIDL grant. Yesterday, the SBA went live with a new EIDL form that looks very much the same as what you saw before. And the sad truth of the matter is that if you had clicked into the form from somewhere externally outside of SBA's website, you may have thought that you were applying for something other than what you were. Um, if you did and you are not an agricultural business, don't worry, you just get denied and there's nothing harm or foul about it. Um, the form that went live yesterday is an SBA small business loan for agricultural businesses, 500 employees or less. If you are an agricultural business and walking in this channel, you need to apply right away because the loan is only available for a finite period of time. As such, there is no EIDL grant going live this week, and there's no EIDL loan going live this week. And a lot of people are even dropping the comments telling people to just apply for the new loan. Sorry, it's not happening. So let's turn to the EIDL loan and the real one, the one you applied for in March uh, or April, and take your questions now. The good news is that LA is hearing that a lot of EIDL loans that were filed in March or even April took all the way to late April to get approved and now have been approved. It has been such a long process. Um, I will tell you that EIDL loans, because it is a loan, is requiring credit checks. The loan officers are checking everything. They are checking IRS returns and they're checking, the exper they're checking um, your credit reports. They're checking it for a few different reasons. They're not just checking because of the credit score. New information that LA can report to you today is that there's a very big concern among all agencies about um, fraud. And so they are concerned that there are people or entities using other people's um, identity to get this money. And so they are ensuring that the applicant is really you or your business. And so by doing a lot of these checks, they're ensuring that it is your business um, and it is really you. And so what are they checking for? They're checking for that the addresses are the same, that the um, – that the EINs are the same, that the spelling of the corporation is the same, that the principal person is the same, that there's really nothing inconsistent. Um, and a lot of you have reported on the EIDL grant story from yesterday in comments that you had a lot of inconsistent application information, that you maybe put your personal social, personal social security or put your DBA and it was now a corporation or now it's changed. A 2019, it's this and that. Oh, boy. Um, what I will say to you is this, and I have not seen this in comments, but I expect it can happen. If some of you have different information now in 2020 for your business that you did not have in 2019, I am sorry. Um, that is really what happens here. If you've ever done a return for a corporation and the address is different, they just get screwy. They get upset about it right away. They don't like anything to be different. And you're allowed to move your address. But imagine now in this context of a loan application, that's what's going on with lots of EIDL loans. They're being held up because of something that's inconsistent in the paperwork that is just really ensuring that there's no fraud upon you. So let's turn to some of the questions. Um, MC996 Carr says, I've watched your video since day one. Um, and I don't know who you look like. You sound just like James Spader. Well, I am James Spader. Um, Avasha said, I need to have an EIN and bank account to apply for an EIDL grant as self-employed. Please suggest to me. Well, let me make it simple for you. EIDL loans are closed and EIDL grants are closed. But let's look back. Um, yes, the answer is yes. If you apply for an EIDL grant or an EIDL loan, you had to have listed the bank account on the application. And it really has to be exactly that. We talked about that in yesterday's video. So it doesn't matter if it's a loan or it's a grant. Um, if you're applying for Richard's Roofing LLC, uh, the application had to have Richard Roofing's LLC EIN, not your social security number, and it has to have a bank account that has that exact 
entity on the bank account. And I don't mean another version of that entity. I don't mean Richard's Roofing Incorporated. No, it's as simple as that. Um, and then you also have to have very basic things correct. You have to have the rounding number correct. Don't put the rounding number of a savings account when it's when they ask for, when you provide them a checking account. The rounding number is different. Very very simple like things like that half will get you bounced. Sandra O oh says I applied April twelfth for an EIDL loan for what I believed is a grant. How do I tell if I sign up for the right one? I hope I didn't sign up for the loan. Great question. That's a really great question. Um you would have signed up for the grant if it looked something like this. It looked like a three-page online form, and at the last page it said, do you want $10,000? Up to $10,000. And you click that button, you applied for the grant. The reason why is because SBA EIDL loans are a lot more money. Um, they could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, uh, I will fully disclose to you, and it has been a topic of discussion on this channel, that the L of EIDL loan grant stands for loan. Uh, and they put on their website EIDL loan advance, but it's a grant. And that has caused so much confusion. I want to address it right now. I do not know why. It's not my organization, but I do not know why SBA had to call the S EIDL loan the same name as the EIDL grant. And why do they call grant something with an L in front of it that sends loan grant? It's not a loan grant. The people who got the EIDL grant are not loan applicants. It's just a bad choice of words. And the EIDL loan grant, they even someone in the comments on the grant video we said yesterday, some of the, someone from SBA said, oh, it's not a grant, it's a loan advance. Um, no. If you only applied for the grant, it is not a loan advance. You did not take a loan, and you're not paying the money back for the grant. Uh, it is when you apply for an EIDL, when you apply for a loan, that somehow the grant has some implication to it. Um, and let me fully disclose what's going on here. There are some people back in March who applied for both a loan and a grant together. They worked hand in hand. Uh, and yes, maybe the grant is an advance for the loan that you also applied for, and the loan could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. But most of you that are listening to this channel are people who applied for just the grant. The grant. And so the grant is not a loan. It is something that is given to you, and you do not pay it back. And so it is very nice of people to try to say to you that you're got getting a loan for ten for $2,000 or $1,000 for one employee, but you're not. You're getting a grant. Um George Dawson sent a very large message. I'm not going to read it all because it talks about another channel uh, in a negative way. But um, it says, thank you for always giving correct information and not clickbait unlike someone else nearby. Well, thank you, George. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is what is going to happen with the EIDL loan. You know, what happened on Monday is sort of peculiar, and what is my opinion here is just my opinion for this afternoon. I really do think there's going to be another SBA loan coming out, and when it does, you really need to stay attuned to this channel, because EI, SBA loans are so short. They are literally not announced. They're, they're not announced on Kimmel. Um, they come out. You sort of hear from a friend on Twitter or a, or a Facebook group or a Reddit group. And then two weeks go, go and they're gone. I mean, it's just, some of them are great. Um, they're generally not collateralized. They're generally low interest, uh, long maturities. I mean, very long maturities sometimes, 20, 30 years at 1% interest rate, uncollateralized. They're wonderful instruments. Um, and, you know, if you can get your paperwork ready, uh, good. What I would recommend to you the following is, is this, if you have time, which a lot of you don't, but if you do have time, get the following documents ready in case one of these instruments comes out, because it may come out and you may have to move very fast. You should have access right away to your EIN number. The last physical address that appeared on a tax return for your business. The exact way you phrased that address so if you spelled it L-N and not L-A-N, please put that down. Um, the nature of the business, as you disclosed on page two, two of your return, you know how on page two you have to list what type of businesses? Take note of that because it often comes up. 
a corporate structure, a date it was formed. Is it an S-class election, LLC, or is it a C-class election, or what type of corporation is it? Where is it incorporated? Very basic stuff. And also get a copy of the incorporation document from your state's website. Have this ready. If you have a few extra minutes, it doesn't take more than a half an hour. Have it ready because one of these EIDL loans or SBA loans or some type of small business loans is going to come back. And when it does, you got to move fast. It's only so many documents. And the last one you can have is the front and back of your driver's license scan and put on your computer. Have all these documents ready in PDF form. And as always, um, drop your comments. We're here to respond to your comments on this channel daily, uh, whether it's EIDL grant, EIDL loan here. We're also doing a story today on, on second stimulus and then the CARES package. As always, stay with LA for more.